So welcome back to another Master video. Today we're going to be going through the brand new content in the game. Starting off with the, uh, the, 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 the let's do the solo mode first of all, right? We of course have a brand new solo mode for the lovely Herald archetype that uh, gives you a Drytron loner deck to go against. And you do get, I think, where is it? Is it here? Uh, that's the last of tickets. You do get, uh, where is it? A Herald icon. So when you see people using this on ladder, you know they're a Drytron player and you should just, you know, scoop immediately. <laughs> you know, that, that deck is so unfun to face off against. But this is fine. This is the second to last solo mode campaign for wave one of Master Content. I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. But it's a bit of a small one, right? Not the, uh, the, the biggest content update we've got. Then we have the Dual Pass. And they've actually done a really cool change with this, in my opinion. Is they've made it more expensive. <laughs> so... You are going to be getting, uh, if we can go and go to the, the shop, right, first of all. It is now 800 gems, which is fine because you do get back 800 gems back for it. So you do get your investment back, which is great. Now you do get more C SLCP and more URCP, which is also really, really good. You also get a Moki Moki mate who can go really angry, which I think is way better than the, than the Pot of Greed one. This mate is genuinely really, really good. I, I quite like this. And so, as an evolution of the first dual pass, it's okay. You know, it's just about, it's just okay. Now, the dual pass is around for 70-something days, which is fine. And they have changed it so it does take around two and a half times longer to complete, which, for me, is perfectly fine. The first dual pass took me literally three days, and I was done. Of course, I was playing a shit ton back when the game first came out, but that shouldn't be the case. So, then rebalancing it and making it work out a bit better for them... It does make sense. End of the day, it is a net one for one in terms of gem count. So you are getting your gem back you invested. And you're getting SRURCP, which of course is really, really good. So dual, dual pass, fine by me. You know what? We'll go through and purchase it right this second. There we go. We now have the dual pass gold. Let's go back to the shop though. To the other main kind of part of the update is the brand new selection packs. Now these cards are only available in these packs and the master packs. They're not in their own secret packs, which... I think is fine for the moment. I think in a year's time, right? Especially the, like if we go to the um this one, Rules Mask, which has Despia, it has um Su Ship, it has Magic Key. At some point in the future, those are getting more support. You know, Despia are getting more support in Burst Destiny and in the structure deck. And so at some point I think that they will make a secret pack for them in like a year's time, right? Once they've been out of rotation for selection packs, all of them, they'll bring them in. And for new players in 2023, 2024, you'll be able to get Despia a bit easier. I think that's kind of the strategy they're going for. But having every card be craftable is really good because really, the only new card that's going to see some form of play from this is going to be Bron de Fleur. This card is going to single-handedly shift the meta, but not in a huge, huge way. You're probably going to see Adamantipator come out. You're going to see Cyflock coming out and being really annoying on ladder. And so... This card is going to be the one you really, really want to get. If you can make it, you can pretty much, if you have a level 7, just use an Ash Blossom <laughs> to make it. Dumb Magician can make it with that kind of combo. So, why not, right? Why not grab this while you can? Is So far, people have been disappointed with the card pool and with the overall lack of anything else in the game. No ban list, no meaningful rank updates, and none of those were going to come today. They just won. If you've been paying attention to Duel Links, you will know ban lists don't drop the same day as a big update. They will advance them, announce them in advance, and then usually there'll be a core app update to actually bring the ban list into effect. That isn't, you know, we haven't had a core app update for Marstall since I think the first week of the game when it was like a needed one because of a bug or something. So we've got to wait for that. And also, the lack of any rank stuff again won't come mid season, that'll come at the end of a season. So if, you know, if we get into what's next, May, right? <laughs> May is after April. If we get to May and there's no rank updates, there's no extra ranking, then yeah, I think there's a reason to be pissed off because we know it's in the game files, we know it can come, and w people are kind of begging for more content, not necessarily more cards, right? Because they've got to have some kind of uh, release cadence for cards, but giving us meaningful content to do besides the standard ranked mode or giving us more to do in ranked mode is what's really important at the end of the day. Also, for Konami being so good at the start of the game, for communicating based on the, uh, the whole hacking whatever, for them to not say anything about the FTK decks going on that are making ranked really, really unfun to play because you are facing them multiple times, 
may be getting free wins, but if you're facing three to four to five FTK decks in a row, then that's not going to be a fun experience for the players. But my biggest thing right now, it's not the ban list, it's not FTK players, it's the fact that Konami, this is a free to play game. You want to make money, right? It's so free to play that I've not spent any money since the day it came out. I spent 30 quid and since then I've got 10,000 gems. I'm stacked up in my gift box. Where are the accessories? Why are there no new mates? Why are there no dual fields, no sleeves, no icons? Why is there nothing? <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense to me why you have like 10,000 plus cards. You can make some easy sleeves off and there's still the same items we've had in the game since day one. This should be an easy, easy way to make money, but you're not taking advantage of that. And I know it's kind of weird to complain about not giving you enough money, but like if, if cards aren't doing it, if, if there's no seemingly reason to give them money for cards, then at least give out more accessories, right? I would have thought today would have been, you know, maybe a couple more mates or whatever. And we know there's at least one more dual field that's ready to go with sale banners like all of this with all these images like this, there's one ready to go in the game files for this, so that it's coming at some point, but we don't know when. And again, that kind of goes back to the whole uh, wave one thing I talked about, right? Because we've had everything in the game files up to now in the game since day one, aside from the assets for them. They've all been placeholder or we've known they're coming because Konami have to release this game on consoles and we know we're getting a Cyber Dark Structure deck at some point. Probably alongside the Fusion event, right, which will probably be in, what, April? No, in May, sorry, because we know the next event is going to be a Synchro-themed event. And also, we know that we have one more solo mode left, Mecha Phantom Beasts. And after that, we don't know anything that's coming. So in my mind, there's going to be a major version update coming by the end of April, I think. And maybe that does coincide with the brand new rank season, giving us some brand new ranks. Maybe they have to do that to give us more ranks in the game. And that's why they haven't, because it's always been the plan to be three months of this of, of this kind of content model, see how it works, and then go, okay, we're then going to go and give you more ranks, we'll give you some more solo mode stuff, and the next three months of content kind of gets laid out in advance for then. I think that's how it's going to work. So keep an eye on the, you know, keep an eye on the Master Guy Twitter account. I tweet all the, on there all the time whenever there's news, so uh, let's go in and get some packs, because... I actually do want one card, at least from here, which is the, uh, the Xyz. This guy here, Volo, the Darkest Doom Dragon Rider. Uh, this guy is a pop for rank 7s. It can kind of go in Dark Magician, so I think I'm going to want at least one copy of that. But everything else, I'm not too fussed on whether we get or not. So I'm going to just open this and then hit the skip button and see what we get. We did not get it. <laughs> okay, we did get Aristotle though, so that, that's kind of fine. But we didn't get the one we wanted, which, okay, whatever. Let's then go to Beyond Speed, the one that I think people are going to go in for. And the anime fans are going in for because, yes, you do want Baron de Fleur. Please, come on. Oh, that doesn't look that good, does it? Let's see. Ooh. Okay. We're done. <laughs> we got Baron de Fleur. We got a Star's Dragon. We got a Clear Wing. I think we're in a pretty good spot. I do. I might kind of go in again uh, off, off camera, right? For um, the speed road stuff, I need to kind of look and see what the archetype does first of all. Because I've not really invested in a deck in a very long time. And so, you know, having a, a couple of fun synchro decks might be worthwhile doing. Especially given we're having a synchro event coming up, which will give us loaner decks for these kind of decks, right? For Stardust, for a speed road, for Flower. And so, yeah, that is my thoughts on the brand new update in Marstall. I don't think it's so doom and gloom like a lot of people are kind of spouting. It's not the end of, of Marstall. It's not going to die because of this. The game is way bigger than just this small audience that's on Twitter that's complaining, right? It's way bigger than yu gi kind of make it out to be. And so, I think we need to give it some time. We're still in that wave one of content that's been planned out by Konami. And so, anything in wave two, you know, wave two, right? After we get the final uh, solo mode we've got in the game already, and the structure deck, then it's kind of the, okay, here's the reaction to what's been happening in the first couple of months of the game. I think that's how it'll go down. I hope that's how it'll go down. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. Duel Links, it's Master video. See you then.